I'm Cindy Byron, and I am the inventor of the sharpening horse, which is the latest technique for sharpening instruments to provide a nice crisp cutting edge on all of your periodontal instruments. And we're gonna have a demonstration now on how to use the sharpening horse with all the various basic instruments for dental hygiene instrumentation. And now I'm gonna show you the basic technique for sharpening each instrument and the method in which the sharpening horse holds the stone at the proper angle for the bevel of the blade. The basic technique for sharpening with the sharpening horse is to take any instrument, make sure the face is parallel to the tabletop. And you can help yourself with this visualization by using the stick that comes in the kit. Method one is with your fulcrum finger on the beam, the heel against the stone, and the face is parallel to the tabletop, moving from the heel third, the middle third, the toe third, and around the toe, keeping the face parallel the whole way. You can also see that the same technique can be used with the left hand, only left-handers start on the right and move from the heel to the middle, to the toe third, and to the toe. So again, the right-handed clinician starts at the left side, moves from the heel, the middle, the toe third, and the toe. The left-handed clinician starts on the right side, with the heel, the middle, the toe third, and the toe. There are three different methods. That's the first method, where you fulcrum up on the beam of the sharpening horse. That's method one. Method two is where you fulcrum on the leg of the sharpening horse, again, keeping the face parallel to the tabletop, starting at the heel third, the middle third, the toe third, and the toe keeping the face parallel. The same technique can be used with the left hand, starting at the heel third, the middle third, the toe third, and the toe, keeping the face parallel. The last method, the third method, is one where you fulcrum on the table Hold the instrument firmly with the face parallel to the tabletop. Start at the heel third, the middle third, the toe third, and the toe. With this technique, you're moving the entire fixture around the curvature of the blade. With the left hand, start at the heel third, the middle third, the toe third, and the toe. The sickle scaler does not have a toe, so the technique for sharpening sickle scalers is different. You fulcrum on the beam, you start at the heel third, again with the face parallel. Move from the heel to the middle to the tip and off. For the other side, method two, fulcrum on the leg. Place the heel middle, the tip third, and off. Posterior sickle, same thing. Face is parallel, heel 
middle third, tip third, and off. For the opposite edge, use method one. Place the heel third, the middle third, the tip third, and off. Now for sharpening the 1112, I would use method one. Place the heel third, face parallel to the tabletop. Heel third, middle third, and roll for the toe third and keep the face parallel to the tabletop. For the other end and edge, you would use method two. With the face parallel to the tabletop. Start with the heel third, the middle third, the toe third, and the toe, and keep the face parallel. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe, keeping the face parallel. Method three can be used with this edge, where you start at the heel, Move the entire fixture around the toe. Move the entire fixture along the contour around the toe. This is the 1314 instrument. Again, you just need to place the heel against the stone, making sure the face is parallel to the tabletop. Start with the heel third, the middle third, and the toe third, and the toe, keeping that parallelism on the toe. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe, ending with the face parallel to the tabletop. The other end can be with method one, face parallel, Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. Method two, fulcrum on the leg, the heel third against the stone. Face is parallel to the tabletop. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. Method three, fulcrum on the table, make the face parallel to the tabletop. Move the entire fixture along the contour of the blade. With the Younger Good Universal, the same principle applies in that as long as the face is parallel to the tabletop, the stone is at the right angle. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. Method one. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. Opposite edge. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. Method two. Face is parallel. Fulcrum on the leg. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. We're going to do method three. Fulcrum on the table. Face is parallel to the tabletop. Start at the heel of the instrument using the whole fixture moving around the blade. Moving around. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. This is the Barnhart 5-6, another universal, which is double edged on each end. We're going to start with method one for this end. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. The other end and edge is the same. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. Method two. Heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. 
Method three. Face parallel, fulcrum down the table, heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. Moving the entire fixture, heel third, middle third, toe third, toe. 